Hey guys, Brian Tong here with CNET.com and we're going to show you some of the newest bells and whistles in the developer version of Mac OS X Lion in action, which is expected to come out sometime later this summer. Plus, we're going to also show you a lot of hidden gems that you just haven't seen. So let's start off with a few of the sexy ones. First up is Launchpad, which gives you instant access to your app's iOS style. You can change to the Launchpad view by clicking on the icon on the dock. You can drag apps on top of each other to create folders just like in iOS, and you can move apps around the way that you want. Now, there's also a lot more multi-touch support in Lion, so you can pinch with four fingers to bring up the Launchpad display and then spread them out to return to the desktop. Now, this can be very fun and also very time-consuming. Mission Control is another new feature that allows you to look at everything that is running on your Mac. Just swipe upwards with three or four fingers. You can see your desktop, all windows from your multiple apps grouped together, full screen apps, and spaces. It's basically like Exposé on steroids, but it's definitely one of my favorite features so far. Now, we mentioned full screen apps, and there are a few built into Mac OS X Lion, like Mail, the Calendar app, and Safari. You can swipe back to your desktop or to other full screen apps using three fingers, but the full screen experience is a nice option, and if you don't like it, just drag your mouse to the top right hand corner and click. Now let's transition into some of the new features in the Finder. Finder windows are now rounded on every corner, and you can resize the window by clicking and dragging on any of the four corners. You'll also have a much smarter search in the Finder. We all know Spotlight is very good for finding files or words in a file, but if you know the type of file you're looking for, type in a file name like AIFF, then you can select to isolate the search by that specific kind of file, and then type in the name of the file you want to find. Another addition is viewing options in the Finder. Now I can still use the icon, list view, columns view, or cover flow view, but now I can view my files based on their type. So if I select all of my files in the revamped source list, I have the option to view them by kind, and you'll see text, image, and movie files separated, or by size as well. Now, if you're in your applications, you can view by application category, and it breaks them down into internet, productivity, and many others. Also in the Finder, AirDrop is a new feature in Lion that makes it easy to find computers on your local network and drag and drop files over to them. You'll find this in the left-hand source list column. Now, Dashboard has also become its own space, so if you swipe to the right with all three fingers, all your widgets are there, and you won't have a confusing backdrop of your computer. All right, let's jump into some specific apps. Now, we've shown you multi-touch gestures already, but Safari also gets a few new Lion tricks. If you tap the trackpad with two fingers, you'll be able to zoom into specific text. You can also pinch to zoom into an area of a web page, and if you swipe back, left, or right with two fingers, you'll see a new animation that reveals the previous web pages that you've looked at. Mail has also been completely revamped with a cleaner look and feel. It now threads your email just like on iOS devices, Apple calls it conversations, and related emails show up on a streamlined feed on the right-hand side. You also can click on the number displayed to show the entire list of emails, their dates, and then directly jump into that email in the conversation. Now inside of an email, data detectors allow you to preview links without leaving the app, and you'll see new animations throughout the OS like this one when you reply to an email. Cool. Now, in the email preferences, if new view isn't really your cup of tea, you have the option to go back to the classic mail layout, and another kind of fun feature is the ability to show a context photo in the message list. Touching, I know. And let's show off one more feature called versions. When you're working on a document, go to the file menu to save as version. Lion has the ability to auto-save changes to your files, so from then on, you can click on the top right-hand corner of your document, and it will allow you to browse all the different versions of the file in a Time Machine-like view. Then you can restore the file if there's a previous version that you wanted, and voila, it's like magic. All right, that was a lot of eye candy and information, and there are plenty more things we could show you, but that's an overview of some of the cool new features that we can expect to see in Mac OS X Lion coming out this summer.